I mean, um, uh, give him a intramuscular injection, subcutaneous injection, as well as an interderm intradermal injection. So um, again, we have to make sure we know who our patient is, identify ourselves, uh, follow our sterile techniques, as well as the seven rights of administration, okay? So I've already introduced myself to Dr. Roberts. He know, I know who he is. I have a date of birth, as well as uh, his first and last name. He's allergic to penicillin, which we we're not giving today. We're just going to give a flu shot, okay? I'm going to drop 0.5 mLs. Um, I have taken the medication out of the cabinet. I have compared it to the physician's order, and now I'm ready to draw it, okay? So, we're going to make sure we clean the top of our bottle with alcohol. Pull down 0.5, all right? I'm going to inject 0.5 of air you can see and then I'm gonna pull back down I like to pull down farther than what I need to get those air bubbles out see I have absolutely no air bubbles in there now okay so now I'm gonna get ready to hey inject the patient we're gonna find the acromion process we talked about the bone right here you come down two fingers below we'll make sure we don't have any discoloration to the skin any tattoos or anything like that we're going to clean from the inside to the outside in a circular motion okay we're going to give it time to dry remember if the alcohol doesn't sit on the skin for at least 30 seconds it's not going to do any good okay all right so we're going to make sure our bevel's up again i always keep you in the habit of keeping your bevel up this is going to go with injections as well as being a puncture okay we're going to give counter pressure and we're gonna go straight in nice and quick, okay? Whole needle all the way in. We're gonna make sure we aspirate, go back just a little, and then go ahead and inject and come straight out. Do not use your hand to close your needle, and we wanna go straight to sharps, okay? A little bit of a massage to get that medication working, going in through a little bit faster. How was that? Awesome, didn't okay. even feel it. All right, and if we need a Band-Aid, or you can ask the patient if they'd like one. I don't see any bleeding. Would you like a Band-Aid, sir? I would. Okay, if he wants a Band-Aid. I don't have any Superman. Nah, it's all right, it's all right. But I do have regular Band-Aids. See, this is the part where I see. Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> Smooth and easy. All right, so we'll go ahead and put a Band-Aid on. Keep blood off of his shirt, little bitty drop. All right, and then again, like I said, we still have the same patient, so you know I'm not going to have to rewash, change gloves. It's up to you if you want to change gloves. Um, you could do a hand sanitizer in between, but it's the same patient. Okay.